So after opening the box and setting up the pole, all we gotta do is put this power cable from underneath to the top of the pole which will be holding the post terminal later. So that's our first step as you can see in the video. Once you've done that, so let's open up the screen. All you need to do is flip the screen, make sure you put it on the clean cloth underneath to protect the screen. All you got to do is just lock behind the behind the screen that you can push this button press it and pull it up so that's the inside of the touch screen so for our third step all we gotta do is plug in this power cable on the very end one where you can see DC AC button before we put this on the stand so that's the third step that we got to make sure that we do before we put the lid back on so when we are putting the lid back on we got to make sure that we press it from the top and bring it to the bottom and make sure that the bottom one is clicking the, the button that we pressed earlier to open up it must click so it's coming out and we make sure that it's nice and firm before we screw it on the pole for the fourth step we gotta make sure we get all that cables coming out of the truss screen through the hole stand and through the hole onto the bottom So for our fifth step, we gotta run all the cables down. You must do it one by one to avoid any damage to the cables. So just make sure that while you're putting it in, just make sure that you do it one by one and then run it all the way down to the bottom and you can actually pull it from the bottom to avoid any damages to the cables. So this is a very important step because we are actually going to attach the touch screen with the help of screws. So as you can see there are two different types of a big big block holes. So we got to use the second one, the smaller one because the size of the touch screen is a little bit uh, smaller way you can screw. So you will need two people to this, do this job, one to hold the touch screen and another one to screw the uh, it onto the pole so this is a very key step so as you can see we just got to make sure that we are screwing it in a right place so as I can show you here there are two different sizes so the, about the top one start with the bottom bottom two first and then the same with the ones on the bottom so you have to make sure that the touch screen is attached properly onto the stand so be very careful and gentle while screwing it up you, you don't like you know, squeeze, squeeze the, the, the cable will spoil because this is power cable. Okay. Then you do you do it from the bottom, you catch one of the cable, right? And then the, the second USB. After we uh, screw the touch screen onto the pole, we gotta pull the cables one by one to avoid any damages. Okay. So we are on to the last step. In this step, all we gotta do is make sure that we cable tie it nicely to make it look organized and also prevent it from accidental pulling. The cables will be secured. So cable tie at the top and also a one on the bottom, bottom of the, the, the stand. So right there where I have done it. So in this way, once we've done that, we got the table 
tie using the cable cutter so that the, the top bit is normal there and the wires are secured properly so this is the final result hope you understood all the steps that I have explained in this video we can see the cables running through the pole towards the bottom thank you